Hi, it's Mark from Top Local. We're here with Bernie Pollock, Pollock Automotive in Vancouver, Vancouver's best auto service experience, 17 time winners of best auto repair in Vancouver as voted by their customers. How are you doing, Bernie? Doing very well. So we're talking about a 2004 Lexus. What was going on with this vehicle? This vehicle came to our shop with a check engine light on and the uh, vehicle was going into a limp mode so it had uh, very little power uh, from time to time. And is that a typical thing or did you find? Um, well, uh, obviously it's not something you want to happen because uh, you want to accelerate when you want to accelerate. But uh, anyways, yeah, so what we found, we did uh, plug in our scan tool, did a diagnostic and found a trouble code stored for an accelerator pedal sensor. Okay, that sounds kind of rare. What did you find? What was involved with that kind of a repair? So uh, the diagnosis wasn't too complex for this kind of issue. Usually these codes, when they occur, are usually caused by the sensor themselves. It can be a wiring issue, but there's usually nothing. The wiring's all under dash and very protected. Um, there's also, it's also a fairly common failure part. So what we found was the actual accelerator pedal sensor itself was bad and needed to be replaced. Um, so what, what was involved with actually doing that? Well, that's, that was a pretty complex repair. The actual complete pedal assembly, which includes the accelerator pedal, the brake pedal, all the mechanism all need to be replaced all at the same time. That's the only way they sold the part, which is kind of strange. Uh, I'll just share a photo here because it's interesting looking at this pedal assembly. Um, now let's, let's get this up here, uh, right here. Look at a full screen, get these. Those adjustment things. If anyways, got some adjustment things there. I don't know why they're there, but uh, so this is the this is the pedal assembly. This is the accelerator pedal right here, which you can probably recognize if you look at it. And this is the rest of the assembly. This bolts up to the firewall of the vehicle. You can see the brake. There's a brake pedal here. The uh, there's like a return spring. Um, this is the wiring connector for the accelerator pedal sensor. So this is the actual sensor right in this area here, and. Um, so this, so essentially, that this part actually unbolts from the uh, from the uh, rest of the pedal assembly. But for some reason, on this particular car, you have to buy this whole thing, which is kind of crazy. Surprisingly, though, the part is not that expensive. Now I'll just share another couple of photos while we're looking here. We can see some of the complexity. You can see this electric motor here. There's a cable here. You might wonder what the heck's that doing there. Well, that actually, uh, this vehicle has a adjustable pedal height so you can adjust the height of the pedals uh, you know if you uh, which is a great feature because a lot of people have short legs um, but without adjustable pedals you have to you have to push your seat forward which puts you right into the steering wheel and I always cringe when I see people who are short who, uh, who have their car set like that because I think what if you got an accident I mean you're sitting right in front of the steering wheel especially if the airbag goes off which it would you know you're, you're right in you know right in the firing line so a lot more risk so with adjustable pedals you can have your steering wheel further away and you can pull the pedals forward. So it's a neat feature, but again, it adds complexity, all included with this part, which is uh, kind of surprising. And um, here's just a close-up view. This is the accelerator pedal sensor itself and the, the kind of mechanism. You can see there's a big spring here. Um, and uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's a little more complicated than just a, a sensor. There's a, there's a lot more to this, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So we'll just stop screen share here and get back to me. Okay, that looks like it was a pretty expensive part, even though you said it wasn't that expensive. You know, surprisingly, that whole assembly was under $500, which which really shocked me because, you know, considering, you know, Lexus parts are not cheap. They're, you know, they're up there. They usually cost quite a lot of money. We, when we ordered the part initially, we gave the VIN number to the dealer. It's a dealer-only part. They sent over just the accelerator pedal piece, and for some reason it was wrong, which is strange when you give them the VIN number. That the, the actual accelerator pedal, the wrong one, was, was uh, $900 just for the accelerator pedal. And, uh, but the whole assembly was, uh, was under $500, which was a real surprise. Now, it's a lot of labor to put this thing in. I mean, as you can see, the, the part is it's under the dash. The steering column has to come out. The uh, brake booster needs to be this. There's a lot of work involved in changing it. So with that electric motor, is it still, is it, is that what's actuating the, the brakes in the, the, the hydraulic system? Or is that, is that, do you have to read, like, lead the brakes and do all that stuff too? No, that, actually, that that brake, that motor actually only adjusts the pedal 
travel. So, so when you push a button on the dash, it'll, it'll pull your, uh, it'll pull your pedals closer or farther away from the dash. So if you have, they say, if you have shorter legs, they do that. That's the only function with that. The brakes are pretty straightforward. They just, they, they just clip up to that brake pedal. There's nothing much to do with the brakes um, on that vehicle. It's basically uh, just the, uh, yeah, it's basically kind of plug and play once you get it all in there. Right. And so how often do accelerator pedal sensors fail? Well, they do from time to time, and they will on, on any car, uh, but they're, for the most part, pretty reliable. I mean, this car's an 04, so it makes it, what, 13, 13 years old. Um, just, just uh, you know, while you have a sensor, just a little bit of background. Uh, it used to be that cars would have a cable attached from the accelerator pedal to the throttle, and when you push the, it was a mechanical connection. Well, for quite a few years, since the early 2000s, and sometimes a little earlier, cars have gone to an electronic throttle. Uh, so there's a sensor, and the actual pedal kind of feels like you're pushing on a cable, but it doesn't. So that's why if you looked at those pictures, you can see a couple of double springs. And it's a, you know, there's a lot of engineering that goes into just having the pedal feel right when you're pushing it. But uh, the set, what happens is as you push the pedal, as a sensor picks up the, uh, your foot movement, that sends a signal to the engine computer, and that then the computer can open the throttle or close the throttle when it chooses to, or it can make other adjustments to the transmission or engine uh, to accelerate the vehicle. It doesn't just have to be the throttle. So there's a, there's a huge advantage in terms of performance, exhaust emissions, fuel economy that can be done by doing things this way. Now, of course, when it's electronic and it's disconnected, there's got to be a lot of safety features built in. So that actual sensor has, has two or three, some of the two or three swipers inside. So they, they, they verify with each other that, that everything's moving in the right direction. So if it picks up a glitch of any sort, it'll put the vehicle into limp mode. You know, the last thing you want is a car that's going to take off on its own or, or not take off when it's supposed to. So if there's a problem, it goes into limp mode, you've got to fix it. So there you go. You have a Lexus in Vancouver that you're needing service for. The guys to see are Pollock Automotive. You can reach them at 604-327-7112 uh, to book ahead. They're busy. You've got to book ahead or else check out their website, pollockautomotive.com. We've got... Almost six years worth of videos on there. Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Mark.